And every day, day after day... This Professor Tulio de Oliveira leads the team at South Africa's University of KwaZulu-Natal. They're responsible for sequencing the genomes of hundreds of samples of COVID-19. They move to this room where they will extract the, the RNA of the virus. Simply put, scientists here observe not only how the virus grows and mutates, but also how effective vaccines are in protecting people from the disease. It's at this lab late last year that scientists discovered one of the first COVID-19 variants in the world, after doctors noticed a worrying rise in infections. Uh, the 501Y V2 variant, and it had around like 20 to 30 mutations from the original strain, with 20 of them causing amino acids change, which changed the function of the protein which translating the virus to be more transmissible but also less neutralized by antibodies. So given that scientific understanding, it's not a surprise that the new variant is the dominant variant in South Africa, given the nature of it. Exactly. So this variant, when it arrives, it is basically had before 20 or 30 different lineages circulating and they all basically disappear. Now we have only the variant. We just finished the February data and 99% of the genomes is this variant. The discovery of the variant derailed South Africa's plans to begin immunizing its health workers with the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. Studies had suggested it would cut the risk of contracting the original variant of COVID-19 by 75%. But a local trial of about 2,000 people showed it was less effective against the new variant. We showed together with colleagues of Oxford and AstraZeneca that a lot of infections happen both in the placebo arm and also in the vaccinate arm. Scientists say more research is needed to show how effective that vaccine is against severe illness. But the World Health Organization has approved its emergency use. For now, South Africa is using the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is shown to be more effective and will instead distribute its batch of AstraZeneca vaccines to other African countries. The AstraZeneca has been effective against, very effective against not the non-variant. As the virus is likely to continue to mutate, there are warnings that South Africa's vaccination drive should speed up. And it's labs like this one that help ensure scientists stay on top of those mutations and determine just which vaccines will work. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, KwaZulu-Natal.